When Tammy was a little girl, she spent a lot of time with her favorite Aunt Lori. They loved playing Pinochle. So when Aunt Lori got sick with diabetes, it was hard for Tammy to watch her aunt struggle with managing her medical condition. She noticed a few things about the system that just weren't working for her aunt. Her doctor would prescribe several different medications and each had specific instructions that confused her. Some days she had trouble finding transportation to the pharmacy. When she did get to the pharmacy, her pharmacist would sometimes give her instructions that were different from her doctor's. And she would sometimes stop taking medications because of their side effects. This non-adherence sometimes led to Aunt Lori being seen in the emergency department or hospitalized. In fact, that's one of the reasons Tammy decided to get into healthcare when she grew up. When Tammy first heard about the Beacon Community Program, she was very excited. Community Care of Southern Piedmont received a grant from the Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT. Tammy learned that this grant would help her Medicaid patients better manage their medication adherence. CCSP's program addresses the kinds of problems that had plagued her aunt in the past. Here's how it works. When Tammy arrives at her desk in the morning, she sees patient admissions, discharges, and transfers from the local hospital. This information is an electronic feed which comes twice a day to the Informatics Center at Community Care. Today, Tammy is working with Ms. Davis, who was hospitalized with high blood pressure and shortness of breath. Ms. Davis is considered a complex patient, so Tammy starts the transition of care process. When Tammy meets Ms. Davis, she reminds her of her Aunt Lori. They get to know each other, and Tammy gets the specifics on Ms. Davis's condition. She explains that once discharged, Tammy will visit her at home so that she can review Ms. Davis's medications with her and see if there are any problems. Before the home visit, Tammy has some homework to do. What's really great about the process is that all the information she needs is in one place, on the Pharmacy Home website. Tammy will be comparing the patient's home medications with three other lists on the Pharmacy Home database. The discharge summary, the medication list from her primary care physician, and pharmacy claims. Pharmacy claims are prescriptions filled at a pharmacy and filed with an insurance plan. When she visits Ms. Davis in her home, Tammy compares these lists to ensure that there are no discrepancies. Then she talks with Ms. Davis to see if she's been taking all of the medications. She finds out that Ms. Davis had a lot of the same problems that her Aunt Lori did, such as transportation, confusion about some of the instructions, and she has stopped taking some of the medications because of the side effects. When Tammy gets back to her office, she documents these problems in the DTP, Drug Therapy Problems, section of the Pharmacy Home website. She coordinates Ms. Davis's care by contacting the other health team members, her primary care doctor, network pharmacist, and community pharmacy. All of the information gathered by Tammy will be given to the doctor before Ms. Davis's follow-up visit. The collaborative relationships that Tammy fosters in this process create a more efficient system that leads to better care for Ms. Davis. In fact, since Ms. Davis is feeling so well today, she's going to play some pinochle with her niece. The CCSP Beacon program is a combination of a boots-on-the-ground care team, cutting-edge technology, and self-management skill training. It's been designed to achieve patient-centered care, better health, and better care at lower cost.